Hey Miyameko team, you're not going to believe what I'm about to tell you. Picture this. Deep in the undergrowth of Florida, a group of carpenter ants has gathered around one of their own, and they're performing what looks like surgery. Real, instinctive, life-saving surgery. No scalpels, no anesthesia. Just mandibles and an incredible sense of purpose. Scientists have recently observed these ants doing something no one expected from insects, amputating the leg of a fellow ant to save her life. It all started when researchers decided to study how these ants respond to injuries. They noticed something astonishing. If a worker ant got injured at the femur, the thick upper part of the leg, her nestmates would carefully bite off the damaged limb. Not in a frenzy, not in a panic, but in a controlled, precise way. And here's the craziest part. The injured ant didn't fight back. She stayed still, as as if she understood what was happening, she let them do it. And the results? Out of 24 ants injured at the femur, 21 of those who were amputated survived. Meanwhile, none of the ants with the same injury who weren't amputated made it. Not one. That's not just interesting, it's revolutionary. Because it means these ants have developed a behavior that stops infections from spreading by removing the problem at its root. And they somehow know exactly when to do it. But wait. It gets even more mind-blowing. If the injury happens lower down the leg, at the tibia, the ants don't amputate. Instead, they switch strategies. They grab the wounded ant gently with their mandibles, and then they start licking the wound. A kind of antiseptic care, you could say. No brutal solutions, just careful, targeted cleaning. So they're not just reacting to injury blindly, they're choosing a treatment depending on where the injury is. And scientists think it all comes down to ant biology. The femur contains important circulatory muscles, so an infection there could spread quickly and be fatal. But at the tibia, the circulation is slower. There's more time to act. It's not that the ants are thinking through medical options like doctors. It's all instinct pure evolved behavior. But the result is the same. Save the life of a comrade and protect the colony. This behavior is so unique that researchers are calling it a first in the animal kingdom. We've seen animals care for each other before, but not like this. Not with amputations that actually work. Not with such specific adapted strategies. And the fact that it was all published in current biology and picked up by new scientists, that just shows how big of a deal this is. So next time someone tells you ants are just tiny mindless insects, remember this. They have their own emergency response team. They triage wounds. They decide whether to clean or to amputate. And they do it all without saying a word. Just action, precision, and a deep instinctive understanding of what it takes to survive together.